Sammy Davis Jr., a luminary of classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. For many, the initial recognition of this iconic figure often sparks a journey down memory lane. Whether it was a captivating performance or a specific work that introduced you to his talent, Davis' influence transcended the screen and stage. Do you remember the first time you encountered Sammy Davis Jr.? Perhaps it was a film, a song, or a memorable television appearance that etched his name into your consciousness. His multifaceted career, spanning singing, dancing, and acting, made him a force to be reckoned with, captivating audiences with his undeniable charisma. As we reflect on the legacy of this versatile entertainer, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Sammy Davis Jr. in the comments below. Your stories offer glimpses into the impact he had on individuals and the collective cultural narrative. What's your first recollection of Sammy Davis Jr.? Can you recall the first work that introduced you to this iconic personality? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, celebrating the enduring legacy of a classic Hollywood legend. In 1979, Sammy Davis Jr. shared a poignant moment with the legendary John Wayne at the Academy Awards. After Wayne left the stage, Davis greeted him with a bear hug, a gesture that later weighed on Davis' mind due to Wayne's fragile health. The incident reflected the profound impact Davis had on those around him, even in seemingly casual interactions. Davis' personal life was marked by family ties. He had a daughter, Tracy Davis, with his second wife, May, and the couple adopted two sons, Mark Sidney and Jeff. Notably, Jeff was named after actor Jeff Chandler. Later, with his third wife, Altavise, Davis adopted another son, Manny Davis, emphasizing the significance of family in his life. In 2005, Davis received posthumous recognition for his contributions to the art of tap dance, being inducted into the International Tap Dance Hall of Fame. This honor underscored his multifaceted talents and enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Sammy Davis Drew's legacy extends beyond the stage, as seen in his touching encounter with John Wayne and the emphasis on family in his personal life. These aspects contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of the man behind the entertainer. Amidst the glitz of Hollywood and the bright lights of the stage, Sammy Davis Drew's life was marked by more than just entertainment. A significant chapter unfolded during the Democratic National Convention, where Davis, standing alongside Hollywood peers, faced heckling and abuse from Southern delegates. This pivotal moment prompted his withdrawal from further political rallies, highlighting the strains caused by his support for John F. Kennedy. The controversy deepened as Davis, after marrying May Britt, faced exclusion from political circles due to interracial marriage, a stance propagated by Joseph Kennedy. This shift ultimately led Davis to switch his political allegiance, embracing the Republican Party and supporting Richard Nixon in later years. Davis' personal life, however, was not devoid of turmoil. Allegedly, a life-threatening contract loomed over him due to an interracial affair with Kim Novak. Sinatra, a steadfast friend, intervened to avert the danger. Despite the close call, Davis later entered into a short-lived marriage with showgirl Lori White, motivated by concerns for his safety. The marriage ended swiftly, but not before Lorre received a settlement and a Cadillac. Away from the political and personal drama, Davis explored relationships that transcended societal norms. His connection with Kim Novak unfolded against the backdrop of a conversion to Judaism in the 1950s, revealing a multifaceted aspect of his identity. In delving into the layers of Sammy Davis Jr.'s life, the complexities of politics, personal relationships, and identity come to the forefront. Beyond the glimmer of the stage, his journey is a tapestry woven with challenges and controversies, offering a glimpse into a life that extended far beyond the spotlight. In 1964, Sammy Davis Jr. took center stage in the Broadway musical Golden Boy, earning a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in 1965. Despite losing to Zero Mostel, the production featured a lineup of then-unknown talents like Roy Glenn, Lola Falana, Louis Gossett Jr., and Johnny Brown. Interestingly, a young Ben Vereen served as Davis' understudy in this groundbreaking show. Beyond the bright lights of Broadway, Davis faced an unusual ban. He, along with the Rat Pack, found themselves prohibited from attending Marilyn Monroe's funeral by Joe DiMaggio. Amidst his varied career, Davis' personal life also bore unique twists. At 64, his death left behind his mother Elvira Sanchez and his grandmother Luisa, who remarkably lived to 112, passing away in 1995. 
From the heights of Broadway recognition to curious bands, and the longevity of family ties, Sammy Davis Jr.'s life remains a tapestry of intriguing moments, transcending the spotlight. Overcoming hurdles from his early days in vaudeville, Sammy Davis Jr. cleverly navigated strict child labor laws by adopting the persona of Silent Sammy, the dancing midget. Built under this guise, he performed in states and cities with stringent regulations, skillfully eluding restrictions. During the filming of Ocean's Eleven in 1960, Davis, like all black performers, faced segregation in Las Vegas, unable to stay in major casinos. Forced to lodge in coloreds only hotels, it was Frank Sinatra who, leveraging his influence, dismantled this discriminatory practice, fostering equality in the entertainment hub. Beyond the glitz, Davis' life was marked by triumphs and battles, including his public announcement in 1989, proudly declaring victory over alcoholism and cocaine addiction. These facets illuminate a resilient journey, transcending the boundaries of both stage and societal norms, showcasing a man whose legacy endures far beyond the spotlight. Elvis Presley once gifted Sammy Davis Jr. a black sapphire ring, stating, This is the biggest black star I've seen, so am giving it to the biggest black star I know. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood and the stage, Davis' life was woven with unique moments. A testament to his impact, director Tim Burton idolized him, aiming to cast Davis as the title character in Beetlejuice, a plan thwarted by Warner Bros. In a twist of fate, Davis shared his final day with Jim Henson. These intriguing facets add depth to the legacy of a man whose influence extended far beyond the spotlight. Sammy Davis Drew's life unfolded with unexpected turns and fascinating connections. Notably, he faced adversity early on, losing his left eye in a car crash while en route to record the theme song for the Tony Curtis film Six Bridges to Cross in 1955. Wearing an eye patch initially, it was Humphrey Bogart who persuaded him to unmask, steering away from being known as the kid with the eye patch. Beyond the glitz of entertainment, Davis forged unusual friendships. A surprising alliance emerged when he took Donald Rumsfeld to visit Elvis Presley after one of Presley's Las Vegas concerts. The convergence of these influential figures showcased the intersections in Davis' life, blending entertainment, politics, and personal connections. Davis' diverse friendships extended even to the realm of Hollywood, where he struck up a bond with Ron Perlman at the Golden Globe Awards in the late 1980s. Their connection, fueled by Davis' admiration for beauty, and the Beast underscores the multifaceted nature of Davis' social circles and his impact on those he encountered. In exploring these lesser-known facets of Sammy Davis Jr.'s life, we uncover a narrative woven with resilience, unexpected alliances, and a depth that transcends the glimmer of the spotlight. As we bid adieu to this journey through the extraordinary life of a multifaceted artist, we invite you to reflect upon the resonances of Sammy Davis Jr.'s performances in your own personal tapestry. Perhaps amidst the rhythm of his tap-dancing finesse or the melody of his velvet voice, you discovered a fragment of your own narrative. Now is the moment to share those cherished fragments. We welcome you to illuminate this space with your anecdotes, the instances when Sammy's artistry became a mirror reflecting your own joy, triumphs, or even vulnerabilities. Let your thoughts dance freely, just as Sammy did on stage, in a celebration of shared memories and the timeless connective power of the performing arts. In the grand mosaic of entertainment, Sammy Davis Jr. stands as a luminary, casting a brilliance that transcends time and resonates with diverse hearts. Your reflections contribute to this collective symphony, a harmonious tribute to a legacy that continues to inspire. As the curtains draw close, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for the privilege of sharing this moment with you. Sammy Davis Jr.'s impact on the world of entertainment endures, and so does the richness that you, dear reader, bring to this narrative. Thank you for your time, your memories, and your unique presence in this shared space. Until we meet again on the stages of recollection, revel in the echoes of Sammy's brilliance, and may your own stories continue to unfold in harmonious cadence.